Hey everybody, Marco, KC2ZMA. Yeah, it's been a while since I did a video. <laughs> hey, today is, uh, what's today's date? August. Yeah, the 24th. I'll probably release it on the 24th as well. So I'm recording this on the 24th. And this past summer, summer's almost over, I purchased myself one of these guys from Connect Systems. BFDX uh, CS580. Uh, pretty interesting radio, very compact, very easy to carry. In the background, I have the um, CPS uh, co plug. I made this co plug from scratch actually, uh, which is not really easy that easy to do, but I've done it. I uh, don't have a lot of repeaters, I think I have only um, 16. Yeah, 16 channels. I have the simplexes. So this I have zone one. Um, one from 16 over here, and I have simplex over here. We have the digital contacts right here. It's a little bit different, the MD380, but the layout is the same. So if you follow the instructions for the MD380, uh, what is it, tutorial that I gave you guys, um, for the MD380, it's very similar to this one. It's not actually, just the layout is a little bit differently. That's about it. Um, the very interesting thing about this radio is the front panel programming on it. Uh, if you see, right here, I'm in the menus for button settings. Um, button 1, button 2. Button 1 is the top button. I don't know if you can see it that well, the top button there. Button 2 is the bottom button. I have short press for high and low power, scan on and off, enhanced scanning for button A. Enhanced parameters is where the front panel programming comes, comes in. I have experimented a little bit. So if I give this thing a long press on the bottom button, I'm on. I'm actually hold on. That's I put a scan there. So I'm on the a channel, for example, and let's say I want to change a couple things on this repeater. If I hold, put a long press. Now everything on one screen, I could change the color code for this repeater, time slot what group, um, all, uh, group, and private, I'm not sure what N is, and that's all call right there, okay, but if you see, if I change, I could go down to, I think I go down, yeah, contacts, so I could change this for up around the fly. The things what I realized about contacts is actually I have this programmed in, if you look at the CPS here in contacts, so I have local two, simplex, I have uh, New Jersey, New York, two up groups, New York Metro. It only lists whatever you have in, in the CPS. Uh, but if you put more contacts in it and more receipt groups, I believe the list will get longer and longer and then if you want to just program a repeater on the fly or change things uh, you could change everything, you can even change to receive this so as long as, as long as you have, yeah, I'll push back, as long as you have one DMR channel in here then you could change anything on the fly I don't believe you could save it um, analog is the same way I believe, let me see what analog channel if you have at least one analog channel, um, oh, that's hold on a second. That's DMR. I gotta go to the end over here. There we go. Interesting. Okay, decode. I don't know why it doesn't show up there, but I believe you could do put the PL in here. 
I don't know why it doesn't show the peel for this one. Interesting. And of course, you could change, you know, transmit, receive, and you go lock it. When you lock it, then you can use it. Um, but I believe if you go back, it loses its memory. So I haven't. I know that's the basics of it. I've seen a few YouTube videos. I haven't really experimented with it. Um, but it's uh, it's pretty neat. So you can program somebody on the fly. Um, so it's if you get the radio uh, from wherever you get it from, your local dealer or connects to the systems or so, um, and you go to the CPS, you read, um, you know, read radio, and you want to look for enhanced parameters is where you change it. Enhanced scanning is when you just, um, it just scans. Yeah, I have it hold for the top button. And it just keeps scanning until it locks. I think you could probably uh, change the minimum and the maximum. Um, again, I haven't said, did so, too much with this. Um, but uh, I know the basics of the way it works, which is pretty neat. So enhanced parameters, if you go to the list here, always look for enhanced parameters. Think of that as a front panel programming. I'm not sure, um, enhanced monitor, I'm not sure. But this is where I program the scanning with it. Um, so you could program, you know, you could program four with long presses and short press. Um, so you could change, obviously you could change it the way you want to change it. So that's a... Uh, it's pretty neat. It's a pretty neat radio. Uh, so I just wanted to show you that about the front panel programming uh, with the CS580. Um, like I said, you can't, I don't think you could save on, on the fly. You always need a CPS for that. Um, but uh, it's a neat radio. I'll be experimenting with more and I'll see. Uh, I'll probably, I don't know, the next video might be this, might be something else that I've been messing around with. Uh, but uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, I really appreciate the subscribers. I think I'm over 100 subscribers now. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Uh, thanks, you, thanks all for subscribing. Uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. You know, share. Just keep, uh, you know, keep sharing the videos and all that. It'd be great there. And I'm glad I could help everybody out. Summary threes.